So the question today is, is diligence important in a relationship? And the scripture we're going to read is Proverbs 31, verses 10 through 12, and verses 25 through 31. And verse 10 says, A wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. And then over in verse 25, it says, She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor her for all that her hands have done and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. So this is a really famous chapter in the Bible and a lot of people talk about this for wives. And I think it's interesting that it ends here this chat, the, the book of Proverbs ends here, and it begins with a conversation between a king and his son. And his son, listen, he's telling his son to listen to him. And then he gives this picture of a noble wife. And again, I would like to point out that men, as well as women, who have faith in Christ, are called the bride of Christ. And I took this passage in my single days, this whole passage of Proverbs 31 about the noble wife, and I applied it to my life as a single woman who wanted to understand what it meant to be the bride of Christ. And when you do that as a single person, the fullness that comes to your heart to intentionally love God with all your actions and to be his bride to be in covenant with him um, is something that I have not experienced in any other place in my life the fullness and purposeful the fullness and sense of purpose in your, in your life becomes so full and this whole passage about the the, the wife of noble character is full of showing her diligence Diligence is an interesting thing to think through when it comes to relationship. Because a lot of times we just take relationships to be something that just happen on their own. We either like someone or we don't. We either get to hang out or we don't. We either, you know, it works or it doesn't. But in this passage we see the Proverbs 31 woman the wife here, the bride, being very intentional with her relationship. She knows all the affairs going on in her household. She's not afraid when about when it's going to snow because she's prepared when it comes. She has thought about the future and how she's making investments into the future. She's bought a field and she's, she's thought about how she's going to use the land she takes what she has right in front of her and she turns it into something that makes a profit that benefits her community. She is very diligent in all of her dealings and she's praised because she has noble character. And that word noble is important because noble speaks of something to do with kings, nobility, royalty. And as, as people who have been called by Christ, people of the kingdom, who is, we are, we are followers of Christ the King of heaven and earth. He redeemed all the earth with his blood, and we are people of that kingdom in the earth. He calls us ambassadors 
he he calls us ambassadors ambassadors is somebody who goes in the name of another nation to somewhere else and they represent that nation wherever they are and we are ambassadors for Christ we are ambassadors for the kingdom of heaven we are the nobility the royalty of heaven and the earth and that's what's so tricky is because we live in a place that does not understand kingdom ways they don't understand heaven culture they don't understand heaven ways but we have not only the scriptures to explain to us what it looks like to be these noble royal creatures of the kingdom in the earth but we also have the holy spirit to help lead us into the ways of god in the earth to to lead us into the ways of christ to love to have joy to have peace to be patient all the fruits of the holy spirit and to deal with people the way that christ has dealt with us this brings the kingdom on earth as it is in heaven this is what we are commissioned to do and so the question again is is diligence important in a relationship and the answer is absolutely it will make the relationship go from one level to to something beyond what you could reach without diligence like so much higher when you're intentional in your relationships and this is the way of nobility this is the way of the kingdom we don't haphazardly walk through life we actually steward each wind of the spirit we steward each opportunity as it comes and we try to steward it with love and with joy and with life we try to bring it to life everywhere we go we, we try to bring more life and we don't do it like in a striving way we do it in a restful way but we do it with intentionality we do it with our king in mind and what he would be doing here and what he did here very focused very intentional but still always following the father and at rest not trying to please man and just trying to please his daddy and as he did it he accomplished so much so and we we were to remember too he was obedient his entire life but he wasn't a public figure in the scriptures until he was 30 years old and that he only did it for 3 years and impacted history forever so that example shows us that it's not about trying to do all the right things by the world standards it's about really being in a relationship with god and following him step by step it's not about whether the world sees us it's about really being in a relationship with the father and just following him wherever he leads you so let's go to the father and pray father i pray that you would strengthen our relationship with you so that we can be diligent to come to you in each circumstance and look for what you're doing and ask holy spirit what are you doing holy spirit so that as we ask and we we wait on you we would get clarity about how to be intentional with what's right in front of us how to be diligent with what you've given us let us be faithful god to steward the opportunities ahead and the relationships because i think that relationships are the things that are going to last into eternity and i thank you for for loving each and every person here in the way that you do help us to love them to be your ambassadors to love in your name to love for your sake the way that you do with diligence um with thoughtfulness in every area of our lives god let us be a diligent bride to you thank you lord I just pray you take this day and make it into something glorious. And let us acknowledge when you've done it in the littlest things and begin to give you thanks so that we would be able to see it when you do it in the bigger things and continue to give you thanks. In Jesus name. Amen.